everybody! Welcome to another episode of Award Winning Trenny and C. I'm here with me, Trenny, and C. Hello. And Colin. Corby Colin. Let's Colin. go. Corby Colin. What did you bring for us today? I brought three award winning whiskeys. <laughs> oh, excellent. It goes I've along with our award. theme. <laughs> yeah. No, you At least, I guess. You're, you've won our award. <laughs> yeah, oh. we'll give them an award. The Trinity C <laughs> Awards is coming up soon, and you're in there. That's right. Okay, okay. okay. running. Okay, let's do so, this. What do we got? You rabbit got? hole. You've seen it on the shelves in Canada for a couple sure. years. Absolutely. You've seen maybe like a higher price point. Is it worth it? You know? That's the question. That's the question. That is the question. That's the and, question. And so, like, you know, let me, let me set your mind at ease. Like, and then maybe if you really looked into it, let me pour you some here while yes, uh, please, I'm talking. Please. Uh, you may have seen, like, these guys start in 2012. It's kind of young, isn't it? Yeah, that's sure. a newish. You know? <laughs> and so you're like, startup, so to speak. How good could these guys be? And then, Let's oh, I out. really poured you a lot more there. <laughs> I <laughs> well, well done. Um, okay. Beautiful color on it as well. well beautiful nice. color, boom. Uh, we're all drinking the Derringer. I've got the Cave Hill and the High Gold here, too. Basically, you know, we've got like, theoretically speaking, if you want to call this, is their mainstay or their entry level sure. one. In on, on the shelf, 78 bucks, 80 bucks, 100, 100, 100, mm -hmm. right? Cool. Not and unreasonable. Not unreasonable. Yeah. Uh, but they're not just like, you know, maybe better in some But scary if you, you know, you don't want to spend a lot. And that's what of, we yeah. do. We try before you buy. Exactly. So that you know, okay. right? So do you know what? Right off the nose, Oh, look at this. Sure. And there's a bourbon oh, fiend. bourbon fiend right here. Can, up uh, the bourbon. Let's go. Off the nose, you get this kind of ruby red mm -hmm. kind of fruit vibe to this it's one. Like the, juicy. It's juicy. It's the infusion it's of... It's Big Papa. Uh, <laughs> of the sherry and bourbon. It's like the yeah. hybrid style. So this is... Explain. This is a PX okay. cast. Let's get right to what we're drinking. Sure. This is Pedro PX cask. Yeah. Pedro Jimenez cask. This is, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I tried. I yeah, I know, I know. It's but yeah, but that, that's as close as you can get to like trying to pronounce it correctly. <laughs> yeah, Roll um, your Zeds. Uh, okay. Okay, you jump in here at any point. Okay, I'm butchering it. But, but like, I mean, the, the whole thing about Rabbit Hole is it's like, it's, it's old school in a lot of ways. It's never chill filtered. It's in small batches. This guy, Cave, and his wife, Heather, wanted to make something that was like, you know, different. You know, you have like these entry level mm -hmm. bourbons. And then you have these secondary, like, you know, I bought it. I'm trying to resell it for a million right. bucks. Yeah, the flippers. So sure. where, where is the, where's the middle ground? Where, who's making a mm -hmm. good, high-quality bourbon that's like, you know. Oh. The, and so what you've got here is uh, a really great bourbon. But it really, the, the hero of this is, uh, if you don't believe me, it's, it's um, Cascanolia. So look it up. Uh, Cascanolia. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to do it right there now. There we go. Um, Verify. He's, he's right. Verify. He's right. Uh, and so Cascanoli is over in Spain. These guys are making arguably like, you know, the Lamborghini of sherry barrels. Mm, mm. You've got right down the street from these guys, the Kelvin Cooperage is making like the stock barrels for all of these. these and, and they're cool. arguably, arguably Kelvin Cooperage is arguably the best Cooperage in Kentucky. Yeah. And then hence the world. And so you get the idea anywhere where a corner can be cut. Stop that. Right. Like this guy is doing nothing but the best mm. of the best. Yeah. He's, so, he's bringing his A game for these whiskeys. Always. And honestly on the nose. And on the flavor, like as soon as you taste it, that that big juicy kind of they are. This, this is a obviously a little bit higher strength, but it sits in the yeah perfect spot in the, the sweet palette. spot. There, yeah, right in that mid 40, 40, 40, 45 ish. Six. So we're hitting we're hitting exactly at forty six point five. Mm -hmm. These guys. So these are always overproof. Another fun thing that he does, like corn, you can't malt, but anytime there's grains, he malts them. Cool. Beauty. And so he wants to malt it barley. Yeah. Uh, like this guy here, um, mm -hmm. like we'll talk about the cave hill for a second, which sure. is a reference to the largest um, uh, graveyard, like cemetery. Mm. Oh, cool. Uh, so like, you know, when he's coming, this is his mainstay. He's like, he's tipping his cap to like industry saying, hey, this is like, I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. I want to, you know, pay homage to where I'm coming from. Uh, sure. But this this one has honey malted barley, malted barley, malted wheat, and corn in it, cool. right? And so, like, this wow. is a really unique. This this one's gonna taste different because you never tried anything like it before. This one is big, juicy, jam. yeah. It really is, yeah. And so you want to like sherry, if because because mm -hmm. to me, like, I taste so much sherry. Like this is like totally, like, and it's something favorite. different in American whiskey to to mm -hmm. age age your stuff in a like a sherry barrel. Yeah, a bourbon. That's, that's cool. Yeah. Now, last but not least, let's just talk briefly about the... So we've got the High Gold here, which just hit the shelves this year in BC. Cool. If you're listening from BC, and it's also working its way across Canada. Mm -hmm. But 
Uh, the big thing about this is the, the what really makes this tick, it's still a bourbon, but it's a high rye bourbon. Uh, so think of like oh, your buffalo nice. traces. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah that, for, right? sure, for sure. But the rye is imported from arguably the best maltster in the world from Germany. Cool. You know, where does rye come from? Europe, Germany. Where, where And who's making the best? The Wireman like maltsters. And Wireman. it's it's a whole friggin' 25% malted rye right there. And so, That's yeah, cool. You know, if you want to make the best you know, high rye bourbon. This is this is the one for you. It's nice that it's transparent on the label of what's going on to it's us. It's cool they're yeah. telling you what they're yeah. doing. Everything's yeah. on the bottle for you to check it out. Check cool. out and check out YouTube. You know, right after you click on this and you watch over and over and over again. All of our videos up, hundred times. Yeah. Keep repeat, these clicks going. Repeat, repeat. Yeah. Then check out some rabbit hole stuff. Then cool. go back to training yeah, and see. Yeah, yeah. Then go back to rabbit hole. But cool, um, man. And we're gonna this have a what's the best awesome. video coming up soon too. Thank you so much for uh, sharing the lineup with yeah. us and. Cheers, boys. You know? Awesome. Good stuff. Subscribe. Leave a comment.